actually we had like the lysate and then just the different various ones. Yeah. I'm in my 70s now, so I was born just prior to the war, to the second war in, in, uh, in Ireland. And there was a lot of TB in Ireland in these days. Not so much nowadays, like all European countries, like the United States. But there was a lot of TB. Um, and TB, I, I myself have got latent TB. I started on uh, tuberculosis research in uh, Dublin for my uh, PhD work at Trinity College in Dublin. The government, what, what limited money they had on in, for research in these days, in the 1950s, 60s, they put into TB. So I was part of that as a graduate student. Initially, I came to National Jewish, which has a very, very substantial TB program. When the faculty position became vacant here, um, I, I came up here because my wife and family were here at the time. And I brought that entire program with me from National Jewish. In these days then you had, first of all, the World Health Organization declared that tuberculosis was a, uh, was a world problem, a major infectious problem. So there was a public health need for uh, extensive research on TB. And since we had an active program at the time then, we were able to compete very successfully for, uh, for much larger grants from the NIH. And we were able then to recruit many of the people that are here uh, that we gathered around us to develop a very comprehensive program. So I was able to recruit uh, some of the older members, people uh, of my generation, people like Delphi Chatterjee. And then with the success of this program, then the department decided to hire some faculty, some teaching tenure faculty, such as Ian Orm. And then he was able to develop his own program. So we were able then to develop the two parallel programs working together and then we were able to form the, um, what's called the MRL, the Mycobacteria Research Labs. We're very special in, in terms of the outstanding talent that we have here. And the way that successive generations have returned, many of the key people here were graduate students here. People like Belisle and people like Karen Dobas and so many others. They were people who've gone through our system, who have left and have come back here. Nowadays in my just pre-retirement time, I'm more trying to get people to work together as, as, the, um, as the kind of wise old man, if you like. <laughs> the grandfather of the thing. That's, that's in a sense my role nowadays.